I'm going to show you how to properly navigate the Epson print driver from Lightroom. So the first thing we need is an image on the screen, which we have. And I'm going to move over to print on the upper right hand side. And the first thing I like to do is I like to move down to Color Management Profile and select the appropriate printer and profile. In this case, it's going to be the SureColor P5000 printing on the Epson Legacy Barita paper. So once that's selected, we're going to move over to the bottom left to Page Setup, and we're going to hit the correct printer and the appropriate sheet size, which is 1722, sheet borders maximum, and the correct orientation, which is landscape. So now we have the correct paper size, the correct orientation. The image size needs to be dealt with, but we'll do that in a minute. We're going to first go over to print settings, and we're going to make sure that we've got the right printer selected. Once again, we're going to go to the layout, down to printer settings. And we're going to tell it where the paper is going to be found, and that's going to be found in the manual feed. And then what type of paper is going to be found there, and that's going to be the Legacy Barita. 16-bit, because the image is a 16-bit image. Superphoto 1440 is appropriate. Now, microweave for this particular image I don't think is necessary. There's not a lot of real fine detail in this image. And super micro weave is appropriate for printing an image that has a lot of fine detail. Here it's just going to slow down the print process. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to leave on high speed. High speed is great if you've done the bidirectional calibration on your printer, which we have. It allows it to print at basically the same quality level as doing high speed off. So we're going to hit save here. And now we're going to move over to the right hand side and we're going to change our margins to 1.12, 0.12, 0 0.12, and 0.12. And then we're going to change our size here to 20 and our height to 13.6. And we now have our image centered on a piece of 1722 paper. We're ready to move on. So, nothing to do with guides or page. The print job, however, we have some work to do here. We want to make sure that this is set to printer. We want to go to print resolution. Now, print resolution, we're going to put a resolution number in here that's an even multiple of 1440, which is the default resolution of the Epson printer. So, this image in Photoshop shows a resolution of 220 ppi. So the closest number with a even multiple of 1440 is going to be either 180 or 240. And I would say that 240 is closer. So I'm going to put 240 in here. Now what's going to happen is that Lightroom will do a minor little bit of interpolation prior to sending the data to the Epson driver so that the Epson driver will receive a number that's an even multiple of 1440, so that as it creates the number of pixels for the print, there will be no error in the mathematics. Okay, next, uh, print sharpening. I'm going to put that on standard, and the paper is glossy, so we'll select that. And once again, we want to make sure that we're going to 16-bit output. All right, so now what we can do is move down here to printer, and we'll hit that, and that's going to allow us an opportunity to check everything that we've done. We're going to print, print settings here. We're going to manual feed, legacy Barida, 16-bit output, super photo 1440, super micro weave is turned off, high speed is turned on, everything looks fine. We're just going to hit print. And you can see up in the upper left-hand corner, it's sending the information to your printer. And in a few minutes, you should have a beautiful print. And that's how to navigate the Epson print driver in Lightroom.